the uh, the Kindle. So. Not to mention that they, they just went in and killed Kindle too. I, I was going to say that netbook and Kindle at one stroke. Yeah. That's a nice. That's a nice slice to take right out. It occurs to me the biggest difference between a netbook and the iPad is that a netbook they sell it to you cheap and companies don't make much money on it. But an iPad is going to have iTunes, the iBook Store, and the App Store on it. So what Apple can do is sell it to you for a reasonable price and then suck money out of every single consumer every day from then on. That's a fundamental change that Apple has under control, is when they get a device to you, then they use it to suck money out of you. The netbook guys just sell you a netbook and they're done. And the data plan. And the data plan. So Apple, um, the, the app sales for Apple is actually basically a wash compared to their hardware sales. Like they make, what, a couple hundred million or something of like that off, off the app sales and they make way, they make a lot of their money off the hardware. I kind of figure the iPad's gonna be the same way. Yeah, that's an acquisition. Hi, uh, I'm an app developer and I run an app developing company and what I find is like one thing that we are not uh, pointing out is that like it might change the web actually if it is popular among common people. Like if you look at the web, right, today like for example, my father is from India, he came here, and there are a lot of newspapers from India, but he cannot browse because he has to move those mouse. And those who have taught others how to use the mouse, it is not easy. Yeah. And okay, there you have to go there and click it, and then what yeah. happens? So the natural, like, I think that this is a big scope for the web to change completely, where it is touchable web, where we can really touch it. Like, we have a lot of popular news apps, but again, like, look at this, right? As an app developer, maybe I don't, like this as such because why do you need a New York Times app? Think about it, right? You have a full fledged browser. New York Times app or any of the news apps, right? They are popular because like the content is fitted or at least formatted for this iPhone. Now, like you have a searchable web and you can actually open up Safari and browse the whole stuff, right? Unless we go to a new format where people can flip through. And that applies to books. And, but again, Apple, I think, has iBooks. So if some publisher wants an app, <coughs> go to the uh, apps and book section. Small publishers are trying to come up with more apps because they don't want to go through a publisher because they have to pay a cut of it. But now they pay Apple 30%, but they sell directly. And if it's a popular app, it will be a hit. But now, like, those guys will not come to me for developing their own ebook, but they'll directly. And, Good that Apple has this uh, support for EPUB uh, format. So it's much more easier for them, which is good. But I think, like, other than that, like, is it not a glorified, it's, it's basically a very user-friendly tablet PC, right, now? So, for, but gaming will change a lot, I'm thinking. Gaming will change a lot. So if you're comparing a tablet with a netbook and whether it's killing it or no, uh, if you look at it from user interaction point of view, uh, I think it all comes down to the uh, network still being 